We're here at Campbell restaurant and like uh, most restaurants across the country, it's lacking Wi-Fi. So we can't surf onto the net with our MacBook and uh, update our blog. However, we have a saving grace here in a new iPhone. See, one of the things we can do to an iPhone is we can tether it, right? Tether. Tether it, so that we can use this iPhone as a wireless router. So the Wi-Fi will come from the iPhone and the, I and the MacBook will get its Wi-Fi from this. And we're gonna show you how to do that. Before you can do this, you have to uh, jailbreak your iPhone. Now, typically because Apple doesn't allow you to do this and what jailbreaking does is that it allows you access to certain features you, of your iPhone that Apple doesn't want you to get at. It also allows you to uh, download certain programs that Apple's iTunes Store does not want you to get at. So for instruction on how to do jailbreaking, you can check out iPhoneInCanada.ca. They have full instructions step by step you can check out. Once your iPhone has been jailbroken, you need to download a program called PDA Net. I right, show you PDA Net. Where's my PDA Net? This is the program here called PDA Net. And PDA Net is basically the program that turns the iPhone into the wireless hotspot. John, we should remind everybody that uh, we are not responsible for anything you may or may not do to your iPhone. Jailbreaking is not condoned by Apple, so if you happen to screw up, they might not you know, honor your warranty. Having said that, let's go to the first step. The first step is to create a, uh, a network on the MacBook. Create a network. We're going to create a network here. We're going to call it uh, iPhone Net. Okay, we call it network. iPhone Net. No password required. This is demonstration. Okay, the network has been created. Uh, right now, you can't access the internet right now until. Wait, well, we can't. Now, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta fire up your iPhone and you gotta go to the uh, system's preference. Go to Wi Fi. Go to Wi Fi here. And we're gonna search for, you should see iPhone Net. We're gonna log on to iPhone Net. Okay. Now, after logging on to iPhone Net, we uh, go fire up PDA Net and the rest is straightforward. Here's a. Uh, Okay, firing up PDA Net. Please wait while PDA Net verifies the internet connection on your iPhone. Once this verified, and now it's been verified, now the Mac is now connected to the iPhone for internet. We should have internet. Let's check it out by firing up uh, Firefox. Mm -hmm. it's connected to that. Yeah, it's connected now. Yeah, there you go. And now it's waiting for johnchow.com and look at that. Right? There you go, we're surfing the internet using the iPhone's 3G network. You also mentioned that Rogers doesn't like it when you do this. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, Rogers says they don't, well, they didn't say it's illegal, they just it's said... Against, it's against the terms of service, so... They didn't um, say it's illegal. It's not, it, it's, it's against the terms of service. Uh, yeah. So but yeah. there is no... Right now, there's no way they can they can actually tell. As far as they know, packets are packets. Yeah. So there you have it. We're uh, using the iPhone to surf the net, and it's pretty fast too. We should try speed test. Well, what's the place for speed test? Let's try speed test. All right, Vancouver. We are now speed testing from Vancouver. Here you go. Look at that. It looks like a. There's a speed, you can see it's close to about 500, 600, 700, hey, not too bad. I told you, crappy ADSL. Oh, we're going almost one, one kilobit per second. 900 kilobits per second on the way on the way down. Not terrible. And go, now it's uploading speed now, uploads a little bit slower. I think slower. 3G's supposed to be a little bit faster than that, isn't it? Okay. Nah, you can't complain, you're <laughs> So there you go, 912 kilobits down, 283 kilobits up. That's uh, that's definitely vloggable. That's you could definitely work with this kind of with this kind of results. I mean, compared to like 56k modem way back when, right? <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember what. I don't remember. Before. There you go. So that's how I'm crossing when I'm on the road and there's no internet. 
This is what I use to get online. iPhone, PDA Net, a MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, We've MacBook Air. We've become such, yeah. such huge Apple fanboys, haven't we? Oh, what, 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 like, what, not all, what's so geeky like, now? Like what's six, so geeky? six months ago, we didn't have a single Apple product, and now we use nothing but, well, actually, we, we had iPods. But, yeah. yeah, 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 but <laughs> but never considered getting a, any other MacBook other than an iPod. It's true. Yeah, but, uh, you can tell when this future blogger finally gets her computer, it's gonna be a Mac, right? Hey, right, Sally. Bye. Can you say Apple? Steve Jobs. Can you say Steve Jobs? We worship at the cult of Jobs. <laughs> say Apple. <laughs> Apple. Yeah. Can you say Apple? Can you say Apple rules? Apple. <laughs> <laughs>